Hello everyone, uh, my name is Seth and thanks for watching my tutorials and how I think on YouTube. Um, this video is going to be about SharePoint 2010 installation of it and then we'll go through the site creation um, <clears throat> we'll go through the uh, different uh, sections of SharePoint and then through the backup process also backup and restore to begin with uh, what you need is um, <clears throat> on uh, within your environment uh, Active Directory environment you first have to decide as to how you want to install SharePoint. Are you going to be installing it standalone on one server or are you going to be installing it as a farm? Now you could do it on one machine, it doesn't matter. If you have a real nice box, go ahead and install it. And uh, in, the, in, the, in this video we're going to be installing on the same box so it, does, it doesn't really matter. The beauty of farm um, farm is that you can always uh, incorporate other servers and expand your farm uh, f from a scale scalability perspective it's wonderful um, the standalone not so much once you install it then you kind of stuck to it um, so so what we need to do is um, first of all within our environment um, I'm on active directory as you can see what I'll do is um, I'll create three different accounts and we'll use those accounts to um, install uh, install um, SharePoint and so to begin with um, within Active Directory we'll go ahead and uh, inst create a first account and we'll call this um, SharePoint SQL The next account I'm going to be creating will be called um, SharePoint Admin. Lastly, the um, third account is going to be the farm account, so that would be the SharePoint farm. Okay, as you can see, we have these three accounts. Once um, you have your accounts created, and they can, you can leave them as a simple, um, simple Active Directory accounts. Um, preferably, you would want to go ahead and create a uh, um, a separate OU, um, but it doesn't really matter. You can create a uh, um, an OU and go ahead and drop drop these um, these accounts into them um, this way uh, they'll be managed so um, and what that basically means is that within SharePoint there is a new managed feature which it'll automatically go in and reset all the passwords for you So we have a SharePoint OU now um, with SharePoint specific accounts, and they can be just regular accounts, not nothing fancy or anything like that. And so once we create our accounts, um, what you want to do is um, we'll go ahead and switch over to our share uh, our SharePoint server. All right, so we just switched over to our our server, the SharePoint server, which is 
which has to be server 2008 R2. It has to be 64 bit. And um, preferably uh, Enterprise Edition if you really want to utilize the clustering and the high availability option. But it doesn't have to be. Certainly doesn't have to be. Um, so once we log into our uh, SharePoint server, what we need to do is make um, uh, log into the local user accounts on that server and go into the administrators group and we need to add the um, the SharePoint admin account uh, on this machine to give it administrator rights So we go, it finds it, and we just applied it locally, so now it's added. So what we'll do now is, um, normally, obviously, the server that you're going to install this on will be a real nice, powerful server with lots of memory, you know, preferably 24 gigs and up. Um, it'll have multiple disks, uh, a an array configuration of you know um, uh, multiple drives and so on and so forth. Since we're just testing this, and uh, well, I'm not really testing, but since I'm demonstrating, uh, I'm not. I don't really care about performance, but in a production environment, you definitely want to care about performance. So you want to make sure that the server is up to speed. So go to where you have installed the. Uh, the software or downloaded the software alright so what you want to do first things is you're going to click on uh, install software prerequisites what this is going to do is this is going to run this little prerequisite tool and it's going to go out there and and check to make sure that all these um, prerequisite software is installed. If not, it will automatically download for you from the web and install it for you. So we'll hit next and we'll go ahead and accept our terms and this is going to start the, um, the process. As you can see, it, it's going to go in and set up the server for the um, application server role and the IIS server role. Obviously these two play a major role, especially IIS. And SharePoint, you know, all the sites and everything are created within IIS. And so it's going to go through, configure the server, go through all the other prerequisites, and when it's done, um, it'll say it's completed, and then it may reboot or may not, so we'll see. So I'll go ahead and pause the video at this point, and we'll go through and re I'll go ahead and resume it once, um, once we're at that point. Okay, so as you can see, um, the prerequisite checklist completed. It downloaded whatever it needed to download and automatically installed it. Now, you may or may not um, see this, but when you're installing the, uh, when the prerequisite is going, it may crash on you, meaning it will just end. Um, and uh, for whatever reason, um, and it'll fail. And so don't worry about it. Um, just hit finish and then go back to, you know, you'll come back here and then hit the, um, and you'll hit the uh, prerequisite again. And it'll go through and take and uh, kind of uh, pick up from where it's left off. And uh, you may have to do it maybe once or twice, but it'll go through and you'll be fine. And so our prerequisites that have been installed or enabled, we're going to hit finish. Uh, we're going to go ahead and restart this just to uh, make sure everything's okay.
Okay, so we're going to click on uh, installation. We're going to click on new installation. And this is going to go through its little check. All right, and you can click on um, show details here. And if you're interested, you're going to click OK. All right, it's going to show us the product key. Hit next. We're going to accept the terms. Hit next. And here we're going to go ahead and click on um, install. It's going to go ahead and install these supported files. Okay, so what we're going to do now is um, hit next. So here we, um, it's asking us what are we, what type of SQL installation do we need to install. The first one says SQL features installation. Uh, this will install SQL Server database, engine services, analysis services, reporting services, integration services, and other features. Then if you had the, um, you have SQL Server Power Pivot for SharePoint, um, and then we have all features with default. We're going to just go with the very first one. This will install all the necessary files for us, or the features for us. I hit Next. Here, I'm going to go ahead and choose the first one, Database Engine Services, and I'm going to choose the Management Tools Basics. Now you can go through and choose whatever you need to install, and we can always come back here and install other features. But for now, we're going to choose these two. And then, if, obviously, if you had the, uh, um, you know, on your server, you're going to choose it, choose to install this other than the C drive, and we'll navigate to the proper directories. Let's go ahead next. So here, uh, installing us for the past five, skip 19. And you can click on show detail if you want to see this. And like I said, you can always come back and uh, install those features. And click next. And it wants us to know what the instance name. We're just going to go with the default instance name. And we're going to hit next. Checks for space, that's fine. Hit next. All right, so here, what we're going to do is, um, is it wants to know what accounts we want to use. So remember how we created the um, SQL account? So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to check entire entire directory for um, SharePoint SQL. We're going to use the SharePoint SQL account. And we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to use the SharePoint SQL account. Oh, we're going to leave the other one as is and just leave all these settings. And so we're going to type a password. And hit next. We're going to use the Windows authentication mode. Um, we'll come back to this and give this give this user not this user but the uh, SharePoint admin user specific rights but for now we're going to say use the current logged in user which is the administrator Next. 
and uh, I guess we'll start the install process. And I'll pause the video and come back to this. So it's installed. We're going to click close. Exit. And right, we're going to go ahead and log off. All right, we'll go ahead and log in. And the first thing we'll do is once we log in, we'll go ahead. All right, once we've logged in, we're going to go ahead and um, click on Start, All Programs, SQL Server 2008, and we'll go into the SQL Server 2008 Management Studios. So we're going to go ahead and log in locally, say connect. We're going to click on security. Logins. Right click, say new login. And we're going to search for a SharePoint admin. Click on server roles. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to give this one the DB creator and the security admin uh, roles only, and that's it. We're going to click on OK, and that has created the um, SharePoint admin account for us. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and exit out and we'll log in under um, SharePoint admin to go ahead and install our uh, SharePoint.